Welcome to 988 Villeroy Greens in the sought after community, golf cart community, of Kings Point in Sun City Center. Here's a quick look at the street and how quiet it is. Beautiful neighborhood built in 1999. Golf course is right over there. This unit has a two car garage and a nice deep. Uh, driveway so your car's not you know near the road here it's got a nice uh, screen along the front these white screens are very nice because they um, even if your garage door is open you usually can't see inside covered screened um, entryway newer door this unit is a two bedroom, two bath with 1,556 square feet if you count the enclosed lanai. So when I first walk in, I'm on tile. The tile is all through here. The tile extends into the guest room. So this is the guest area. So we have a beautiful, big, huge um, pantry, or sorry, linen closet here. Very large. A jetted tub in the guest bath. Typical side. Here is the guest bedroom. There is no overhead light, but uh, nice closets here with the raised panel doors. Carpet. So the guest, um, it's a split suite. So the guest um, suite area is here at the front right and the master is in the back left, so separate from your guests. This is a great room. Um, that light, looks like there's two lights up there, but that one is actually, the second one is actually a um, solar tube. You can see how much it's like daylight almost in here without um, even having the lights on. So we have tile here. This is kind of a transitionary area to get you into this laminate floor. So there's your laminate floor going through. This area here is typically used for the dining room. And then this area here can be your living area. You could use the space however you want. I've seen people make this into a big giant living room because they didn't need a dining area. Put a fireplace over there, create a big, huge um, living space right there. It is open concept, open into the kitchen here. Kitchen is a nice size. It's got the higher ceilings here. Um, so this has got a really nice uh, solid surface. I wanna say it's quartz um, countertop. This is linoleum here. Um, it actually goes very well with the selection of the cabinets and the, um, and the countertop. And uh, there's no marks or anything in it, so it's in really good shape. Um, Appliances, at least the refrigerator's on the newer side, it's stainless steel. There are some couple of upper cabinets up there for any decorated items. This is your eat-in kitchen area here. Over on this side, as I said, it's kind of open concept. It is, that's a really old stove, as you can tell from the spiral rings on there and an older um, dishwasher, but both still operational. Over here is a pantry with uh, very deep shelves in it. They've actually extended the shelves and made them a lot deeper. Uh, so lots of room in there. Over here is typically where you would see the washer and dryer. These people have moved the washer and dryer. The original washer and dryer were put out in the um in the garage so this can be used some people use this as a storage area some people will hide a desk in here just so it's kind of out of the way um but ultimately i guess you could bring the washer and dryer back inside but you'd have to do some plumbing there um nice little window seat here the house has newer double pane windows they are not hurricane proof windows though um, but there are new double pane so this is a nice big, this is why some people don't use that dining area section because look at how big this area is. Lots of room for your uh, eating kitchen. You could put a really big table there. It is a two car garage. However, they have some cabinets built on both sides which would make it almost impossible to get two cars in here but you could certainly get a car and a um, 
golf cart in here. This car will be being removed this weekend. Um, it does have a water softener in here and the washer and dryer are right over here with um, a nice sink over there as well. Going back in, back through the kitchen and into, we'll, we'll skip to this uh, uh, master bedroom first. So as I said, they're in opposite corners of the house. The master is a nice, generous size. It does have carpet in there. There are a couple little spots here, but once the furniture is placed, you may not see those items. Um, there is a, a decorative border along the top there. Um, but yeah, over here, the way this is set up is we have the vanity here outside, and then in the room here, you have your toilet and your shower. The shower is one of those um, acrylic, I think is what they are, surrounds. Uh, with a decorative edge put in there, some built-ins there, a nice seat in the corner, um, and with a um, grab bar over there. So nice wide shower, easy easy entry to get in and out, very low step over, maybe four inches, three, four inches. Um, yeah, and then the vanity with an extra cabinet built on top, and here is your walk-in closet very nicely sized and going back out. So it's 1,336 square feet without this extra room, but this was meant to be the lanai. There is a slight step down, maybe two, three inches. Um, there is a sliding glass door that separates it. There are air conditioning and heating vents out here. So this is considered part of the livable space because it is heated and air conditioned. It's under the regular roof of the house. It's a very large room. This room can be considered used more like outdoor space. There's these big windows all along the back. They can be open. They have screens on them. You can let all kinds of air come into the space. Um, a lot of people, what they will do is if they're not using this for uh, like an office or something like that, they'll um, set that up as their living room, dining room, and out here they can put like rattan furniture and treat it more like it is outdoor space, even though it's indoor-outdoor space. This is um, a nice part about this unit as well, is it has this big space, nobody right behind you. Look at all this open space behind it. Now this is the condo association property, but it nonetheless is a big area right here where you don't have any backyard neighbors at all. You are the end unit, on, last unit on the street. So over there, there's nobody on that side of you, nobody behind you. Literally the only person close to you is this um, connected unit. But look at all the space. Now you can't set up anything permanent out here, but you certainly could come out here and sit in a chair. There is a little bit of a concrete pad right here outside the door and a little bit of area there. You could easily put a gas grill out here and do some cooking or whatever if you wanted to. But yeah, really nice space inside and outside. There are um, uh, hurricane shutters in the garage. You can see the pegs are all in place to have this all covered up. This unit just went through two hurricanes, um, Helene and Milton, and there were no issues at all. So we, the, the, the shutters never even went up, and there were no issues. So yeah, I'd say it's a great value. Um, so yeah, come and take a look at it. Um, it's got a lot of nice features to it, a lot of updates. It's a big space. It's a it, on paper, it doesn't seem like a big space, but with these big high ceilings and this big great room and open to the kitchen and having the higher ceilings there just gives it a very spacious feel. So yeah, 988 Vilroy Greens here in the sought after community, 55 and older community of Kings Point within Sun City Center. Check it out, make an appointment, come see this place before it's too late. Thank you.